It is approximately day 1137, about three years since it's all happened. I've run low on supplies, food. I'll be heading down south, about 20 kilometers down to the local Chinatown. So this may be my last diary entry because I'm not sure what fate awaits me in the exclusion zone. Look at all of these. I've been eating canned peaches and beans for so long. It's finally good to have some new stuff. Hey guys, back with another video. And today what we're gonna be doing is reviewing zombie apocalypse food. Zombie apocalypse. We always tend to see it happen in Western countries. It's always you go to your Walmart, you go to your big supermarket. But I was thinking, what about those in Asia? So today, I put myself into the role of a survivor. And I'm basing myself that if I was in a zombie apocalypse based in Asia, what kind of food could we eat? Yes, I could have chosen the most palatable stuff, but I'm thinking this is three or five years down the line. All the good stuff's going to be gone, so I've chosen the more rare and unpopular stuff, and we're going to review it. So basically, if you are desperate in those times, you'll know exactly what food to get. So the first thing we're going to be trying is these fried baby clams. Can clams substitute for canned tuna? Let's give it a bit of a taste. Let's try it out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Bit hard to see. Sorry, the power's out. Let's have a look at that. Ugh. Very fishy. Very old, cam smelling. Mm. Ugh. 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 It's okay. It's not bad. Ugh. It tastes like those dried squids that you get with a bit of chili on it. The chili's not so overwhelming. It flavors it better though. It does add a bit of more flavor. Now, if you are in the zombie apocalypse, this is probably still not the greatest. Six out of 10 for the fried baby clams with chili. The next one we have, a replacement for tuna, is the fried catfish with chili. Clearly, to preserve things, you need to put stuff in chili. So in the zombie apocalypse, if you can't handle chili, you're just gonna have to get used to it in Asia because you've got no choice. Oh, it actually smells pretty good though. Like a barbecued fish. It smells good, the looks not so great. Oh, that is disgusting. Look at that. But hey, a lot of people like catfish. I don't eat catfish very often. It's almost like no flavor. The thing about it, it's very bland. It looks like it's caked in a lot of flavor, but not really. You just got a bit of a minor fish taste with a bit of that chili. It's kind of the exact same flavor as the clams. It's really good because you have a really big chunk to eat rather than those baby clams. So yeah, in the zombie apocalypse, if you need your protein, that's definitely a good thing to go with. It'll give you the nutrients and calories to keep going. It doesn't have that really strong preserved squid taste. It tastes more fresh than the baby clams, even though it's canned. Baby clams got a six out of 10. These definitely have to get a seven out of 10. But hey, not bad. I actually would eat that. Like, I'm actually, I re highly recommend that one. What about some minced prawns in spices? Hey, everyone likes prawn. I'm Australian, I've got to put a prawn on the barbie. So, let's have some mince prawns in spices. Oh no, oh no. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. It is a liquid consistency. Is this even to eat or is this like to, to flavor a sauce? To be honest, I think I'd rather eat my own shit than this, right? Cheers. Oh. Hey, it's not too bad actually. Woo! Woo! Oh! So it tastes like those mini um, dried prawns that are very, very prawny and salty. Literally, if you grinded those up and made them a bit more not so dry, it's it, it's really wet. This paste, it's very liquidy. So kind of you, you mash it up and put it in some kind of gravy with a bit of a spice. And the spice has a really good kick. It actually elevates the flavor, even though it smells worse. It's actually more delicious than those baby clams and probably on the same level as the catfish. I think the flavor complexity is better, but the catfish just has more volume and texture and more of a protein bite to it. It tastes more like meat. So this one probably in between. So we'll give it a six and a half. Not bad if you like seafood. Now you've got to like seafood for these items. If you hate seafood, these are going to be an absolute zero to you. We're moving away from seafood and we're going into different kinds of meat. Well, the first one we're going to try is canned sliced pork in Szechuan style. Sauce. It's pretty much just. It's pretty much tuna, 
It feels like it. It's like flaky hard tuna. It feels like it. Smells like it. Oh. Reloading! Mm. Oh, it's so bad. Firstly, the meat is so, it's really old or really dry. It's so chewy. Like there's a very nice chili flavor to it. The aftertaste is good, but the initial taste is bad. It's got all that panned, you know, rotted, no air, no oxygen in it. It gets better at the end, but at the start, because it was so bad, it's probably worse than the baby clams, the canned pork in Szechuan style, only five out of 10. For those that aren't fans of pork slices, well, how about we try some canned spiced pork cubes? They look exactly the same as the other ones. If you fed these to someone at a restaurant, maybe heated it up, you could actually pass it. These are actually really delicious. Nine out of 10. These you could eat right now. They're so good. Asian zombie pop get this one. This one is delicious. Now, how about for the vegans out there, or the vegetarians? Beyond Meat is closed down. It's a zombie apocalypse. In Asia, like, there's no vegan stuff left over. What can you eat? How about some mock duck meat? Substantial? That's one piece right there. Huge. It actually kind of does have the duck skin. It smells like that, the same thing as the clams. It's got this odd, moldy, preserved taste. Maybe Chinese preservative? It literally tastes like bean curd. The, the, it doesn't even have meat consistency or texture. Well, if you're a vegan or vegetarian and you do want protein, this is substantial. This would do well. If you're looking for actual duck and you're a meat eater, this is not going to pass it. Nothing close to taking up duck meat. It tastes really, like really good bean curd though. For me, I'll give it a seven for vegetarians. But for meat, one, it's not even meat. Continuing on with the vegan vegetarians, we have fake meat jerk now in a real zombie apocalypse in asia let's face it the jerkies are going to go first they're the most delicious thing they preserve well you can keep them for a while they're delicious what's left over vegetarian jerky already off the bat they're really hard it's, is this dog food so you can see here that it's kind of like vacuum packed and congealed into one how are you supposed to eat this? See, like that's like 10 pieces joined into one. The more you eat it, the more you identify the flavor, which is actually not bad, but the initial taste is really, there's, there's a glaze or some kind of really offensive taste on it. But then when you get past it, it actually tastes pretty good. For vegetarians out there, I don't think the flavor there is good. There's a reason why people like beef jerky because it's that hard texture and the flavor. You've got this really sweet barbecue meat, but for vegetarians, you wouldn't want to eat that kind of flavor with that kind of consistency. For me, that's probably like a three and a half to three. If you're a vegetarian, if you have never had jerky in your life, um, don't try that because you're not going to appreciate it. What makes jerky jerky is it's kind of this meat hard texture. There's no point having that. Now, if you're a meat eater who's turned into vegetarian and vegan, no, you're not going to like that either because it's nowhere near normal jerky. So in the end, that just does not work. Three out of 10. There's just no, there's no need for it. If you, it's a survival situation, go for it. But out of everything I've eaten here, even the, the, the duck fake meat is better than that. So I just don't see why anyone would eat that, except if you like that flavor profile specifically. I think it's time for some veggies. No, no available fresh vegetables. Fortunately, we're gonna have to go canned veggies. We have some young corn in water, salt added, Small though. There you go. Mm. Mm. It's fine. It sounds like baby corn, and I love baby corn. As a vegetable, as a sustenance, as corn. Yeah, good. Seven out of ten. It's not bad. Could use a bit more flavor, but there's nothing offensive about it. It just tastes like baby corn. Mmm. Oh with some small salt added. Canned mushrooms. Now, I love mushrooms, but when they look this color, I don't love them. <coughs> oh, shh. Uh, 
not uh, sanctuary, sorry. Uh, come again, Nick. Those mushrooms, too much water content. Now mushrooms are good when they're a bit grilled or they're a bit more dried out or fried, but they still do taste like mushrooms. These mushrooms only get six out of 10. What if you are sick? They say chicken noodle soup is great for when you've got the common cold. Why don't we, why don't we try some chicken soup? Extreme conditions, you can't heat these up, no campfire, purely just drinking this chicken soup cold. So it's quite, oh, so it's a really clear soup. That's really good. It's kind of like that Asian soup. I swear, if you just put chicken corn soup in this, or you put some fur noodles in, you'll probably think it's a really good broth. It was hot. Give this a seven out of 10, even being cold. This is fantastic. If you are sick in the zombie apocalypse in Asia, get your chicken soup. Delicious. Now, dessert time. What can you have for dessert? How about we try some of this grass jelly? Just the whole can. The whole can is jelly. Mmm. It smells good. It smells like grass jelly. Oh, it's so plain. It's so bitter. It's like you drank all the flavor out of the grass jelly, that herbal drink flavor, and you're left with just the gelatin. This is just the jelly. It's not the sweetness. So you, you add this to the sweetness, that's a one. That's not even dessert. And the last dessert item that we've got, green jackfruit pieces in brine. There we go. You can see we've got some jackfruit pieces in it. Now the jackfruit's okay, there is a jackfruit taste, but there's just this, it's just salty. That's terrible. That is half out of 10. Thanks all for watching. Make sure you guys comment down below which countries you'd like to try next. Maybe you're curious what happens if you're in India and it's the zombie apocalypse. What if you are in the desert in the zombie apocalypse? Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh. Wait, guys. Just. Oh, shit. Piss off, zombie. Piss off. Wait, what, what the fuck, dude? Trying to get some box, dude. Oh, what sorry, dude. No, dude, I'm just filming. Just uh, filming a zombie yeah. pop-ups. You want some?